you guys doing here again is offstream health with ify so a very interesting topic your long-awaited video spirituality and health so you guys from time to time you're gonna see me put up a video or a topic relating to spirituality and health so spirituality and health can never be separated remember we are spiritual being living in a physical body and god has blessed us with food to take care of this physical body remember food is medicine remember god has given us the green herbs as medicine all right and the best best part of my career as a healthcare professional is when a patient says to me please pray for me or sing for me oh that's the best i just drop everything I kneel down there and raise my hands and sing and thank God for that opportunity and that part of my career is the best part of my career. So today I have a special someone, Hilary Hopkins. She's going to speak to us on this episode of spirituality and health and I'm also going to leave her email down below in case if you want to reach out to her privately. How I met her is going to be a different topic for another day, but she is a wonderful person versed in this topic, spirituality and health, and I need you all to listen to her. And in future, we're going to have more topics dealing on spirituality and health. We're going to be looking at it from different angles, and I want you all to enjoy it and see you there. Bye-bye hello beautiful people welcome to upstream health with iffy my name is hillary hopkins and today we'll be speaking about health and spirituality what is health health is a state of being free from illness infirmities the world health organization says health is a state of complete physical mental and social well-being but for those who believe in a higher power, who believe in God, health also involves spirituality. As important as our physical health is to our physical body, so is our spiritual health to our spiritual well-being. And so we give God thanks for the doctors and we give them credit for the wisdom that God has given to them to prescribe medication, to help heal the body but a thing is sustained by what created it and because we are created by god then god sustains us god is called the three in one father son and holy spirit and so he's made man try compartmentalize as well we have made up of body soul and spirit health is important physically and spiritually when you look at physical health, the word of God says, life and death is in the power of the tongue, Proverbs 18, 21. And so we need to speak over our health. We need to speak over our bodies. Also, food, natural food, is one of the main sources that we use to maintain physical health. In Genesis 2, the, the word of God says that God placed trees in the garden that was good for food he also said that food is medicine for the body and so when we eat we need to know how to eat right we need proper rest we need to drink water we need to exercise all of those things help maintain our physical body but as important as that is to our physical it's also important that we have balance in our spirituality where do we get that balance and how do we build or take care of our spirituality? That comes through the Word of God. By reading the Word of God and through prayer. Some people do meditation. Some listen to worship songs. So all of those things can help build our spirituality. The man, however, in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 23, it says that we are made of body, spirit, spirit. And so and so in order now to be able to be 
in the homeostasis to be in balance, we need to take care of all three. So we know how to take care of our physical body by what we eat. Mental health is also important and we need to keep our mind right. And we can also do that through focusing on the word of God and building our faith through our spirituality. In Jeremiah 30, 17, God says, I will restore health unto thee and I will heal thy wounds, said the Lord. So we know that healing comes from the Lord. In uh, 1 Corinthians 12, 9 and 28, he says that he's given gifts of healing to the body of Christ. What do you do when you are confronted or faced with an illness and you've prayed, you've taken medicine, you exercise, you eat right, and you feel that you have not received healing or experienced healing? Do you doubt that God is a healer? Do you doubt that God can heal? Let me assure you that the word of God says, if he said it, he will do it. The word of God does not lie because God cannot lie. However, spirituality is a walk of faith. You must have faith in order to walk with God. And so you have to now use your tongue and use your word. Your words, when you speak, it says in Proverbs 16, 24, that pleasant words are as a honeycomb. They are sweet to your soul and they give health to your bones. So we have to speak our good health. So it's, it says it is sweet to your soul and health to your bones. And that's why it's important to speak over your health, speak over your well-being. You don't have to confess that this is wrong or the other is wrong, but you need to speak positive, speak faith over your sickness. And so just to encourage someone who may be going through a situation you feel like God is not answering, you may be doubting your faith. In 3 John 1 to 2, the Apostle John said that he wished above all things that we would be in good health and prosper even as our soul prospers. So there's a connection between our soul prospering, our spirituality, and our physical health. Also, we see that in 2 Corinthians 12 and verse 7, he said that God had given him a thorn in his side that he never took it away. As powerful, as great as the apostle Paul was, he had a thorn in his side that he never got relief or healed from. Why? Because God said that his grace was sufficient to keep him. So even though you might be going through a difficulty with a sickness, a disability, and you feel like God is not answering, because we know that in Matthew 9.35, it said that, Jesus went about healing every sickness and every disease. He also said that the same power that was in Jesus is in us. So sometimes we have to stop and think, are we believing? Do we have faith for that healing? Even though we, we haven't seen it yet. Are we willing to believe only for one, one month or one year? Can we still say God is God even though we've waited five years? And haven't seen the healing the way we want it to be or the way we expect it. God can heal miraculously through divine healing, but he could also use medication or the doctors or food. Like we said, food is medicine. So it's important that we eat the right food. We can prevent illnesses from eating the right food and we can also reverse or correct some illnesses from eating the right food. But when it comes to your spiritual health, that is fed through the word. And so it's important to continue to speak your word and have faith. What is faith? Faith is believing even when you don't see it. Because if we were able to see it, we wouldn't have faith. And again, we must see our doctor. We must take medication if you're being prescribed a medication. You should take your medication if you've been prescribed a medication while believing and still praying and having faith that God will deliver you. Faith is not just saying that God can, but believing that God will. And he said, faith can move mountains. And so when the challenges come, and when the pain comes, 
and you feel like this medication is not working, the doctors don't know what they're doing, I don't believe I will be healed. That's when you put your faith to the test and continue to profess God, I believe in your word. I believe in healing. I believe that I am well and that I am made whole. And command your body to line up according to the word of God. And you also eat right. And so even though Apostle Paul did all the great things and performed many miracles, remember that he himself still had a thorn in his side. Sometimes God has a purpose and a plan that we cannot see. We do not know everything. There are some things of God, deep things about God that we will not know until we meet him in glory and he will explain. But he is sovereign. He is a sovereign God. And because he, of his sovereignty, that it, there's also a providence that comes with it. And so his time and our time may not be the same. We may expect that healing right now in a way that we think it should be but he might say in his own time it may take longer or it may not be the way we expected but he is still god he is still good and he's still a healer so remember physical health is just as important as spiritual health and that is how we get balance in our health and our spirituality so as i close just remember that the the goal is to be whole so we need to take care of both physical we need to take care of our soul we need to take care of our spiritual life and so if you have any questions about faith or spirituality you can always email me at hillary hopkin at hotmail.com that's h-i-l-l-a-r-y h-o-p-k-i-n at hotmail.com if you have any questions you can Write your questions in the comment sections and uh, Ify and I will get back to you uh, regarding your questions. I do wish you the best of health and wholeness physically and spiritually. And we do encourage you to continue to watch Upstream Health with Ify. God bless you. If you need prayers, you can also write prayer requests and we will get back to you to pray with you and for you. God bless you and stay well.